Hello, my name's Neil Edford. I'm the chairman of Wolf's Head Bowman. We're a reenactment group that specialises in promoting longbow archery. We try and shoot traditional longbows using traditional arrows made of wood and feather. We use a variety of woods for this. For the bows, we use mainly yew or ash, sometimes lemon wood, hickory, laminated. For the arrows, we use poplar and cedar, ash, some pine. Natural feathers, we can forage throughout the woods and get these and make them up from there. We try and do shows all over the country in castles and at outside field events and demonstrate the actual power and use of the English longbow. Obviously we do this at the targets you see behind us where there's a good have a go going on so the public can see how to use them. But we actually put on shows at larger distances and show the power of these things, how they penetrate chain mail and armour and how far they can shoot and indeed how fast they can shoot compared to say a medieval crossbow. Arrows shoot at different speeds depending on the power of the bow. Some of the larger bows are shooting arrows at 85, 90 miles an hour. Um, you've got to remember that these arrows are, are very long and have a very large steel tip on the front of them. They have tremendous penetration power. If you tried them against a, a car door today, they would easily penetrate through a, the door of the average car. We have various different ways of shooting. Obviously, in an event, we've got a target line and an arrow net to catch the arrows. Not that it does any good for the uh, medieval arrowheads because it goes straight through. But uh, when you're out practicing, we can either set up a target in practice or one of our favorite ways is to go roving. So we'll go into some woodland where we've got permission to shoot and there's no footpaths and we'll pick a target. Now, this might be a knot in a tree 25, 30 yards away. It could be an oak tree in a field 250 yards away. We shoot towards that. The person who hits it first or gets nearest then picks the next target. And by this you end up shooting downhill and uphill and at unmarked distances. Traditional archers shoot indoors in the winter at 25 yards exactly or 50 yards outdoors exactly. Where we shoot instinctively. We could be shooting at 10 yards, we could be shooting at 200 yards. And this is where we feel you really learn to shoot. Bearing in mind we've got no sights. We're shooting instinctively with natural wood, natural feathers and we really learn how to shoot. Uh, in our group we have well over 100 members and for the show group we can put as many as 50 people in the field with as many as uh, all 17, 18, 20 tents at times. So we put on a, a whole village. Um, with our group especially, Wolf said Bowman, we concentrate on trying to get our family feel. So we have members literally from babes in arms up, up to uh, you know, retired people and it gives us a real good village feel and gives a natural feel and progression for the group and a natural range of experience which I think is very important. A lot of uh, reenactment groups are very very good but they're into their fighting so you get a bunch of guys kind of 25 to 35 and try and hack each other to bits on a weekend and while that's fun, quite a lot of fun in fact, it doesn't give you the whole feel of the kind of medieval environment. We actually live this way, we sleep in the tents, we cook on the campfire and it's a big part of it as well as the archery.